My hair looks bad, it's probably because it does. Middle parts. I'm so blind in my right eye, I really can't see what I look like right now. Let's hope it's not terrible. That's fine. I love allergies. Megan, what are you allergic to? <laughs> I have no idea. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. You're in a new room today. This is my guest bedroom and I need to stop moving my arm so much because I look so spastic. Today I'm doing my oct- I just like titty tapped myself. Today I'm doing my October favorites and I didn't do a September favorites. I think because I was incredibly busy. I honestly don't remember why. I'm just gonna get started. First let's start with skincare favorites. This is the Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream from First Aid Beauty and this is an oil-free moisturizer. It's amazing. It doesn't clog my pores and it doesn't break me out and it's not too heavy but it still moisturizes my skin which I really like. Another recent thing I started using is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy AM Gel Cream from First Aid Beauty again. My under eyes have been super dry from the antibiotics I was on or am still on from the dermatologist. So my under eye was so crazy dry and I had been really slacking on the eye cream. And I really like using this. It doesn't sting my eyes and I have crazy sensitive eyes and I have contacts. So I really like that for the morning and it's not too thick so my concealer doesn't like wipe off but my makeup like lays on it so much better. Next is the Fresh Sugar Nourishing Lip Balm. Oh, I love this. Being on top of my lip moisturizing has been like a priority because nobody wants crusty, crusty lips. Either kind of lips. Whoa, vagina jokes. Gross. Makeup favorites of the month is the Meat Matt Tr Trimony? Meat Matt Trimony. Matt Trimony? Uh, I didn't go to college. It is a matte palette, as you can tell. And look at that hunk on the cover. I like you. And these are the colors. And they're all named Matt with different last names. Have I dated anyone? I've dated a Matt before and I was wondering if like his name would be on here. I don't know why. That would be me if I made a makeup palette. Oh my God, that would be so funny if I did a makeup palette and all the names were of my ex-boyfriends. This is why I can't be a beauty girl. I really like it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I think if I wear sparkly eyeshadow, especially in like red carpet pictures, I know, super relatable. Uh, it makes my eyes look smaller. Don't wanna make those smaller because I already pretty darn small, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just like, just wanna look like constantly surprised. Like, Next is a blush that I used in the last two makeup videos that I did, and this is from Marc Jacobs, and it is Flesh and Fantasy, and I love that because lots of people hate the word flesh or fleshy, and I think those words are super funny that people hate, like, moist, all about it. So anytime, like, a makeup brand incorporates it, I'm like, I like you. It's like this rosy, golden blush. I don't know. Next is a highlighting stick from Glossier. Glossier? I don't know. This brand is like really trendy and like super Tumblr. Um, and not that it's like on, it might be on Tumblr, but it like looks kind of Tumblr. You go to the website, like, whoa, you're so cool and way too trendy for me, but I'm gonna buy it anyway. Their face masks, side note, are amazing. I only had like the mini little sizes of them and I really need to buy the full size because I'm finally all out of them and I brought the last ones uh, to New York when I was there with two of my friends and we literally just like put it all over our faces at night and it's like our favorite thing to do is just like lay in bed together, all three of us in a tiny little bed and be like, I love our lives are exciting. Anyways, this is the highlighting stick in quartz, and it's like dewy, which I really like. I'm just gonna add some more on right now. Oh! And the last makeup favorite is also a highlighter, and this is the Mary Lou Manizer. And this is just a highlighter. It's the powder highlighter that I'm wearing underneath what I just put on of uh, that one. I think it's pretty. Let's move on to fashion favorites with this backpack. Bye -bye. This is a Philip Lim backpack that I bought myself for my 23rd birthday, which was on August 4th. I saw this and I love it and it's gotten me super into backpacks. I'd always been into them for like Coachella and like other like super relatable $2,000 tickets to music festivals. Follow me on Instagram for more relatable aesthetic. I'd never thought about getting a backpack for like daily use aside from like, you know, school, but I like dropped out of that. And it doesn't feel like I'm like late for the bus. Next favorite is one of my favorite favorites. It is this planner. Yeah. Oh, is that gold, gold polka dot cheetah -y kind of thing? It is. This is a giant planner and this is called the day designer planner. And I actually got this one from Target and I spent like $45 on a dumb Kate Spade planner. And I like liked it, but I didn't love it. And then I saw this at Target for like, like less than $20. And I was like, I for the record, I'm not one of those crazy planner people who like spend like 65 years decorating their planner in which I'm like, oh my God, like maybe do something else instead of like decorating to, to, to 
plan. I'm no offense, actually, a little bit of offense you can take. I'm so, so confused. And they'll have like these like, crazy full decorations. And the only thing on their planner is like, watch The Bachelor. And I'm like, oh my God, get a new hobby. You're literally decorating a planner that's not like even planning anything. I'm judging you. I like this because, fuck. I like this because it has like the full month and then it goes into today's schedule and then it's got today's hours marked from like 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then it has today's top three things to do, a whole to-do list, notes, and then you put through your gratitude. But I'm like not one of those like inspirational kind of people so I just like ignore that. I just love this planner. I have to use a planner because I have really bad ADHD but I'm also super type A. So for me this is nice because it makes it so overly planned out that I can't just like go brain dead and forget something. Next fashion favorite is a bra. And I've shown you bras before, so we don't have to be like freaked out by this, but I'll probably use this picture as the thumbnail. It's not even clickbait. I actually got a bunch of new bras recently from Adore Me, and I'm obsessed with this one in particular because it's white and has a cute little pink bow. I don't know, I just like how my boobs look in this. I either like to wear no bra because I think like little nipples poking out are so cute. I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. Or I like wearing bras like this. My boobs are on the smaller side and I love these kinds of bras, but I have friends who have really big boobs and they love these kinds of bras too. Megan, why are you so obsessed with your boobs? My favorite music of the month is Body Bear's new album. I'm obsessed. I have been a fan for so long. If you guys haven't listened to it, so good. And just every album has such an amazing progression. And I think it stays so relevant in terms of like what's cool in music, yet makes things that are very, very, very different that I haven't heard before. And I've just always been a fan. I've been stupid busy, so I've been slacking on making Spotify playlists, but I'll still link my Spotify down below if you guys want to see like what I'm currently listening to in that moment. Um, you know, sometimes it's Hannah Montana, sometimes Bonnie Bear, sometimes it's the Chainsmokers, sometimes it's the Wiggles. You know, we all have our moments. Different strokes for different folks, guys. My book favorite of the month sh should be no surprise because you guys know it's like my favorite book ever, but you might be like, Megan, we already know this. Why are you recommending this book to us this month? This didn't recently come out at all. Um, and I'm recommending it to you this month because I recently got on a plane and forgot to download uh, a new book to listen to on Audible and I only had the books that I previously listened to. I didn't want to spend $45 for internet, so I decided to re-listen to a book and I re-listened to my favorite book, which was Harry Potter. I listened to the first one. Harry Potter was one of the first books that I read on my own. I think by the time the third book came out, that was the first one I ever read like cover to cover on my own of that series. But before that, I would listen to the books on tape. So this was like prior to Audible, prior to smartphones. I literally rented a cassette tape from the library and would listen to it all the time. So when I re-listen to it, it always just like sends me back to like being a kid and listening to it for the first time. If you guys haven't listened to Harry Potter before, even if you've read it, I really recommend listening to it because it's a totally different experience. I'm gonna link it down below on Audible and if you want you can use my code audible.com slash Megan for a 30-day free trial. I'm gonna link it down below. My favorite YouTube video of the month is actually a video that I put on my second channel. It's kind of getting me excited and giving you guys a taste of how I want my vlogs to be. So if you guys want to check that out, really proud of it, I will link it down below. God damn my hair. I have a lot of favorite TV shows of the month because I have been watching a lot of TV. My first TV show favorite of the month is Stranger Things, and I was a little belated on starting it, but I'm obsessed with it. If you haven't heard anyone talk about it, which to that I say, oh my gosh, Vine is done. I don't know what you're spending all of your time doing. It's scary. It's like an 80s kind of horror-ish thriller show, which I really like, but I'm a scaredy cat, and it is scary, so you've been warned. Second favorite show of the month is Westworld on HBO, and I'm obsessed with this. I am like a diehard Game of Thrones fan. Game of Thrones is like my favorite TV show. It's like Gilmore Girls and Game of Thrones, because like, you know, two facets of my personality, and like friends thrown in there too. But Westworld is amazing. I didn't really love like the first half of it because I didn't get it. I was being the ideal viewer where I was just like, ugh, ugh. Ugh, I hate this. And then when they did the whole like surprise thing that kind of like sets the whole show off and makes it really interesting, I was like, <gasps> and I was like, damn it, I fell for their trap. <laughs> I don't wanna give anything away. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. My third favorite TV show of the month, I told you I wasn't kidding, I'm watching a lot of TV, is The Divorce, which is also on HBO and Sarah Jessica Parker is in it and she's one of my favorite humans. I don't know, I just really like it. It makes me never want to get divorced, but I think it's really, really good and the acting in it is phenomenal. And my fourth and final favorite show of the month, oh my gosh, what could it be? It's freakish on Hulu, a minute. 
you know, I talk about it all the time. All jokes aside, I know that I talk about Freakish more than anything else in the entire world, but that's just because, honestly, I just love it. <laughs> I'm really proud of the show, and I, I mean, like, obviously I'm, like, ridiculously critical of everything I do. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. If I wasn't in it, I would still like it. Honestly, I like it less because I'm in it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Please don't recast Zoe Parker, though. <laughs> I'm so happy that this project is getting some attention and people seem to really like it because I, this is, like, literally all I've wanted for my entire life. I know a lot of you guys have actually watched it already because my Twitter is, like, constantly filled with you guys talking about it, as well as, like, my Instagram, like, tags, which is my favorite thing ever. Please don't stop. I love that. When I see edits, me and LaShawn or, like, me and Melvin or whatever in our, like, cute little scenes or whatever, I love it. And then when I see edits of me stripping to my bra and making out and taking my top off, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Please know. If you guys haven't checked out the show and you would like to, um, I'm gonna link it down below. Okay, that's it for my October favorites. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss other subpar videos from me. I love you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got braids on, my background is as colorful as always and it's later in the afternoon and I'm still wearing pajamas, so...